Hello everyone, I am Spartan Kilo, and welcome back to another episode of Forge Room. I got a special one for you guys today. This is my first custom minigame map. Well, I guess you could kind of call it a minigame map, it's not very mini. This is Mantis Assault 1.0. Its current only supported game mode is Mantis Assault, but you could also play other Slayer game modes if you really wanted to. I just prefer to use Mantis Assault because the loadouts that I've built into that game mode are very specific to Mantis Assault. I have a lot of love for the Mantis in the Halo games, and I wish it was in Halo Infinite. For years, my friends and I wanted a map and mode exclusively as a mech sandbox of death. I started making the map a year or two ago with some friends actually, the very friends who wanted the sandbox of death with me, but I finally returned to it about a month ago to finish it out. It was clearly inspired by Titanfall and MechWarrior Online, both games that I very much enjoy. The story here that's a remote colony refinery under attack from coalition mercenary forces. Utilizing Mantis assault mechs and heavy explosives and air support, the settlers call in backup to fight fire with fire. On to the gameplay. Upon spawning in your respective lich, you'll see four Mantis mechs for you to drop from. This is only for the initial spawn though, because the Mantis is having some kind of spawning glitch on the brim of the lich, and for some reason it doesn't like to consistently respawn, and I don't want people to have to spawn up in the air just to have to jump to their death. That's not very fun. So what I did for that instead was I gave everyone a spawn zone on the ground with four respawning mantises on a 10 second timer. However, the timers are broken and for some reason they like to spawn closer to like 20 or 30 seconds. I don't know, respawn timers are broken in Halo 4. It's like weapons respawn too fast and vehicles respawn too slow. It's weird. But then the warthogs on the map respawn at the right time, so it, maybe it's just the mantis? I don't know. Each player has a unique kit of a jetpack, assault rifle, and rocket launcher. This is to ensure that they have a fighting chance against enemy mechs to keep things fun for infantry, and I'm happy I did it, especially with the mech respawn issue. Because of this, now infantry can just get up and go, and they'll have a fighting chance. It also opened up the map to a lot of unexpected approaches from stealthy individuals who like to jetpack from building to building. This keeps the mantises on their toes and tells them you can't just look down this lane, you have to look up and down as well. Map pickups include two sticky detonators and two railguns. It's pretty mundane, but you know, I mean, everyone has rocket launchers and mantises and jetpacks, so you don't really need much. I also didn't add too many infantry weapons, mainly because I wanted the focus to be on the mantis, but just to give the infantryman a fighting chance. The spawns are a little spawn campy, but are spaced out enough to give players a fighting chance in the event that they do get camped. Like I've said probably five or six times in this video already, fighting chance. That's the key to it. I only ran a 4v4 match, and it ran very well for the two or three games that we played for, but I really want to try an 8v8 in the near future. This map has a lot of chaos potential, and I'd love to see it fully recognized. If you guys have any other desires for large-scale maps, I was thinking maybe a tank elimination game mode, something along those lines. I feel like the vehicle sandbox is a little underestimated whenever it comes to custom games nowadays, unless the custom game is in Halo Reach. There's a lot of potential in Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 4, especially because, you know, they both run off of the derivatives of the Halo Reach engine. The vehicle play is seriously fun in Halo 4, and I really love the addition of the Mantis. It really does shake up a lot in the game. If there's any other custom game ideas or suggestions that you guys have, please feel free to leave them below. If you play the map or you're looking forward to playing it, go ahead and leave a comment below as well. If you want to download this map for yourself, go ahead and find it under my file share. My username is kilosierra975, as seen on screen. Other than that, that's about all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Go grind your MCC weeklies, go touch grass, and I'll talk to you guys next week.